my suggestion to Jake Johnson, owner of Jake's Diner on State Street, to let me start writing about his life. I've been a frequent customer of the diner, harking back to the days when it was Monaco's. I've always been fascinated by people's backstories. You know, the stories that sometimes we want to tell about ourselves, but are often reluctant to share. The stories that we hope might lend some encouragement to others who've had similar experiences. Or perhaps we just don't want our life stories to evaporate into thin air after we pass. Jake and I started this project three years ago. I thought it would be finished within six months, and then life happened, COVID hit, and we were all scrambling to get into our caves and stay put. And for a time period, even Jake's diner was closed. Jake has been ever patient with my long time extension. Most of the writing has occurred at the diner, and special thanks to his fiance, Nikki, along with the regulars of the diner. Tonight's um, essay is Acorn Squash Aplenty. Now, a show of hands, how many of you have ever had a garden? All right, or, you know people who've had a garden. All right, well this is sort of a garden story with a nice twist to it. All right, so, Jake, you have so many interesting and entertaining stories. The other day you shared this one with me and I hope I captured enough of the humor that you conveyed while chatting about it with me. Jake and I often talk about food. After all, his diner is a place where it's only natural to discuss recipes along with foodie adventures. It's also where I feel as snug as a bug in a rug. It is not just a place for comfort food, but comfort all by itself. And if I had to describe how I feel when I walk through those doors, I would simply say, I'm home. Only it's more than that. It's where authenticity permeates the air. I'm not sure how we segued into a discussion around acorn squash. It might have been an offshoot of the foods we enjoy at Thanksgiving, but the last turkey day I missed because I contracted COVID. When, and then Jake, sorry about that. Um, and Jake started in with, when I worked at Ruby Tuesdays, they would throw out the seeds from the acorn squash. I had an idea, and that was to ask for those seeds so that I could plant them. Sure enough, I was granted my request and had loads of seeds. I approached my uncle, who lived over in Groton, and asked if it would be okay if I planted them on his land. Sure, responded my uncle, without any hesitation. I think my uncle figured I knew what I was doing. So, I scattered as many seeds as possible. Well, let me tell you, when those seeds started to take hold, there were vines and acorn squashes all over the place. They had taken over my uncle's entire garden. Everywhere you looked, you would see them. There was no space that had been left vacant. My uncle was not happy and told me to get those vines and squash out. And I, of course, did what he said, but I had no idea what I was gonna do with all the squash. We had enough squash to feed all of New London. I'm not kidding, it was everywhere. So I just started handing them out to as many people, customers, friends, family as possible. And sometimes the response would be, you know, I don't need 10 squash. And I would shout right back with a reassuring, yes you do, you just don't know that you do. And with that, Jake let out a huge cascade of laughs, followed by me wondering how many squash were actually picked and distributed. I didn't want to bother Jake with any more questions, besides he was still laughing so hard that he probably would not have been able to answer. But I was thinking, this is the makings of a science fiction movie. Something along the lines of Invasion of the Body Snatchers transformed into Invasion of the Acorn Squash. <laughs> and as for me, I'm kind of glad I never got into gardening. <laughs> um, and just in case you don't know what an acorn squash looks like, 
got one, huh? Look at that. Show and tell night at the custom house. <laughs> there you go. Hey, folks, watch. All right. Nice. Thank you, Linda.